I can say I never thought about this before. This panel proposes a method to stop an aircraft in a second. Assuming the plane has a speed of 150 km per hour. By landing on a special treadmill that's going 150 km per hour in reverse, the aircraft could theoretically be stopped instantly, because 150 minus 150 equals zero. This sounds cool and all, except it doesn't really work. First things first, it's not the wheels that drive the plane forward. Wheels are just for landing and taking off. The real power comes from the engines, which generate thrust to push the plane through the air. Implementing this plan would be messy and unpredictable, because even if we assume the treadmill is really going to bring the plane to a halt, going from 150 to 0 km per hour in a second would lead to cataclysmic effects on the plane and its passengers. Landing on a high-speed treadmill would cause massive friction leading to extreme heat and stress on the plane systems, making it an unwise thing to do. For a jet to stop, it needs to counteract its forward momentum by using a combination of reverse thrust from the engines, air brakes via spoilers on the winds, and mechanical brakes on the wheels. This way, its kinetic energy will dissipate slowly and the plane would experience gradual deceleration over a longer distance. A moving surface wouldn't provide the necessary aerodynamic conditions for a safe landing because the treadmill offers only one type of braking, the wheels. To help visualize the effect, think of someone sprinting at top speed and suddenly planting their feet to stop. An experienced athlete might only tilt forward a bit, but most people would likely fall on their face. Now, imagine doing that to an airplane. The results are going to be kind of similar, only much, much worse because of the aircraft's massive size and speed. Fun fact, but is it? If Earth suddenly stopped speed, Spinning. Everything not firmly attached to the ground would be sent flying east at a speed of 1200 kilometers per hour. The oceans would invade the cities and earthquakes would erupt everywhere. But let's hope that never happens. Conservation of momentum and energy makes stopping a plane in a second impossible without massive destructive forces. In the real world, even someone like Superman would struggle to stop an airplane without smashing it to pieces. 